Hi everyone, Lori Whitlock here. I am so excited to show you this new Halloween village that I have at the Silhouette Design Store and in my shop at shop.loriwhitlock.com in SVG format. This village is really cute and it has five pieces as you can see here in front of me. Um, the size on these is about two and a half inches by seven inches on the tallest piece here. Uh, the widest piece here is about seven inches wide and about six inches tall. Just to kind of give you some scale, six and a half by uh, four and a half. And they're about, that one's about two and a half inches deep. And these are about one and three quarters inch deep. So um, they also include all these cute embellishments like the um, ghost and the bats and the jack-o'-lanterns. There's a cute little skull here and a little black cat, a witch's hat. And they include these cute trim pieces that include the little dropping spiders, um, little spider webs, the cute little details that make these so much fun. So they assemble quite easily. And I'm going to show you how to assemble this one beginning to end. And you'll notice as we're assembling that, that it's really truly just um, the same as this little house, minus the one extra gable and side piece over here. So once I show you this, you'll know exactly how to put this one together as well. They're assembled in separate box pieces that glue together. So this has three boxes, one, two, three, and this one has two boxes. So these other three, are really quite easy. This is one large box. You're just gonna fold it and glue together on the side and then close up the bottom and then add all the trim pieces. The roof will assemble just the same as it does here. There's some glue tabs under here that you'll just glue the roof onto. So that one's really simple. This one is assembled exactly the same way. It's just a different shape. And then there's two smaller boxes that you can see are just glued right onto the front of the larger box. So you're basically just putting together three and gluing those together. This one, the roof line is a little bit different. All the other roofs um, I will assemble just like the one I'm gonna demonstrate. This one, however, has this angle on all four sides. So I'm gonna pull, pull that off. I have a little pop dot holding it in place. But basically the box assembles with just a glue tab on the side and then fold up the bottom. Um, this roof, however, is angled in and you're gonna glue those four tabs in to create that. And then you have a little uh, for lack of a better word, a lid that creates the rest of the roof. You'll just glue those four tabs and that'll form this black piece. And then on the outside of that black piece, you'll have two scalloped layers to add to each side. And those pieces are all separate. It's not another box layered on top. They're just separate pieces so you can ink all the way around. And then the top piece here glues right on top. So you can just play with those color combinations. That could be a lot of fun out of oranges or purples or um, it's cute in black and gray, like we're showing it here. And then that will just glue right on top of the house. Like I said, I didn't glue that on because I wanted to, to pull it off and show you. So I've just put a little glue dot under there to hold it in place. So let's get started assembling this uh, three peak house. And then you'll be set to go ahead and put the rest of these pieces together. Um, I think you'll find it quite easy because the trim includes the little um, drop spiders that's all one big piece including the door so that makes it easy the only other pieces you have to put on are the little window pieces and those are pretty straightforward for each house so let's get started putting this together and i hope you enjoy making this fun halloween um, set of houses um, of course you could cut off the little spiders and use them for other holidays as well you'd have to cut off the little webbing as well. You just have to do that with the scissors or something, but um, they make a great little Halloween set the way that they come in the file. So let's get started putting one together. So let's get started putting together the haunted house with three peaks. So the file includes a front panel that you can go ahead and add all of the trim pieces to. There's one large piece that includes the spiders and the outer trim, and then there's the three windows. So go ahead and glue those down on that piece and the door should be able to open and close on that. And then there's two side pieces for the, the side 
that'll go on the side of the front piece here. And then this is the back, and then this is the roof piece. And these are the trim pieces, just like we have here on the front that are gonna go on the two sides of the house. So let's go ahead and get started putting together the main house. I'll go ahead and set some pieces off to the side for a minute. So the main house looks like this, and you'll go ahead and fold on all those score lines towards the inside and start forming a box. It's just a basic box. So I like to just go ahead and fold all those pieces and you can get that door swinging both in and out. And then go ahead and put some glue here on this side glue tab. Let's see. And then just fold the small side over to form the sides of our house. Once that's dried really well, we'll go ahead and put the bottom together. So the bottom has two little glue tabs that fold in, and then the bottom pieces just overlap. So you can go ahead and put a little bit of glue on those tabs. And then fold the bottom pieces in, and we'll add some glue in between the large layers. That'll give it a nice sturdy base on the house with two layers there. And you can go ahead and just push that down on the table and put some pressure on the bottom to make sure it's glued nice in place. So you can go ahead and fold those glue tabs for the roof in and you have the front of the house put together. So now we just need to put the two side pieces together and then we're going to attach them. So basically it's three boxes that we're assembling and then we'll glue them together. We'll go ahead and do the same thing with this small piece. It's actually actually folds just the same as the front piece that we just did. Um, just fold everything in and then glue that side glue tab and then glue the bottom in place. can use something to reach down in there and push that bottom down good, get it glued. Okay, so now we have those two pieces done. Now we just need to do the third one. And just fold on all those tabs and all those score lines across the middle here. And you can use a bone folder if you'd like, or just use your fingernail Depending on the weight of paper, the heavier the paper, the more need for a bone folder. This paper that I'm using is probably about a 70 pound cardstock. 80 pound or 100 pound is a really nice heavy cardstock that works great for building little houses, but the 70 pound is going to work out just fine because of all of the extra panels and covering pieces and the three boxes that are glued together, it just makes it quite sturdy. So this will work out just fine. Okay, and then we'll glue that bottom in place. Okay, now that we have our three boxes put together, we're gonna to glue the boxes to each other side by side. So you'll wanna fold those roof pieces out of the way so they don't bind anything up as you're gluing. Um, but you're gonna hold them side by side and make sure that the peaks or the gables are in the front here. And then just coat the side that they connect with glue. And the one thing you want to make sure is that the bottom is nice and even so that when your house stands up, it's even. And then the front and the back are nice and even. Just make sure that lines up really well. And then you'll want to hold that and get it glued really well and let it dry. And then we'll also do the next piece over here. Okay. 
could use an extra hand right now. It's kind of awkward holding everything and gluing everything at once. If you can get all three pieces lined up, you can just give it a nice firm hold while it's gluing. Okay, so once that's glued, you need to put the front panel on and that should line up right with all those pieces that we just glued together, cover everything up nicely. So we'll go ahead and put some adhesive on the back of this, leaving the door free. Don't add any glue to that part. Just make sure you get the glue close to the edges so you don't have anything peeling up and falling apart. Around the door here too. Okay, once you feel like that's coated, you just go ahead and line that up. This uh, window at the top and the windows on the side here, just make sure those are lined up the best that they can be. Let's give everything a good press. And then we've got a back panel as well. If you feel like the centerpieces need a little extra glue, you can go ahead and that's why I like this little needle nose glue bottle. And if you're interested in that, if you'll go to my blog um, and click on Lori's favorites, it takes you out to my Amazon recommendations that show you all the things that I use in the videos. You can click on the link and then read about it there on Amazon. Order them, get them delivered in two days. So that's nice. Okay, almost flip that over and glue that in place. Okay, now we're ready to put on the side pieces and the roof. And that's those are the last pieces left. See a little spot that needs some glue here. Okay, so we'll go ahead and put these side panels on and they just go right here. So I'll put a little bit of glue around the edge. Okay, now the last thing to do is our roof. So the roof comes in two pieces like this one here and you're just going to glue them together in the center leaving the scallops free on both ends and then you're going to fold it like a big M and I'll show you with this one that's already glued together here. This one's out of a glitter cardstock. So just fold it like an M with a peak in the middle and two little peaks on the sides and that is going to fit on top of our house just like that. So we just need to carefully fold all those glue tabs in and put our adhesive on. I think I'm going to stop there for a minute and just go ahead and get this part glued on. Oops, I got a little glue on my roof. Well, luckily this dries clear so it'll be fine. Okay, so you just want to center it with a little bit of overhang for the um, front and the back to be centered evenly and just give that a good press just make sure that it looks even to you in the front and the back there and then just make sure the house stays in position this roof will kind of help hold those evenly apart And there we have our three peaked house, three gable house. 
um, completed. And just so you're aware, the one that has two gables is just basically half of this, well, it's missing this little side portion. So you just put together one little box, two little box, well, one little box and one large box. And then it's got all the covering panel pieces for that. So once you're done with that, the last thing to do would be to embellish your house. So we're gonna, we'll add a cat and maybe a pumpkin to our house. And our house is all done. And all of these different houses come with different embellishments. There's some ghosts and bats and different pumpkin pieces. There's also a cute little skeleton face and a witch's hat. So you can kind of mix and match these amongst the houses and decorate them the way you want to decorate them. So I hope you enjoy these adorable Halloween houses and I hope to see you make some little villages and share them on my Facebook page um, or email them to me and we'll be happy to share them with our readers. You have a great day and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.